Well, that was a colossal waste of time. Okay, so really the only reason I'm filming this video is because Gary, Funny Beetle Maniac XXX, uh, Boss Man 103, bought me a ticket to go see this movie. I had listed three movies that I might go see this weekend in addition to Age of Ultron, which is awesome. I've already seen it. I'm going to see it again. But uh, he said he had heard this was really bad and annoying and everything, so he said, I will pay for you to go see this. And I said, well, no, all right, whatever. I'm going to go see Age Voltron again. I might as well. Why not? At least I've got that as a palate cleanser. And Yeah, Hot Pursuit is pretty damn bad. What can I say? You looking for any insightful commentary from me? You're probably not going to get it. I give it a 2 out of 10. It's pointless. It's shrill. It's annoying. It goes for lowest common denominator humor every single time. Even in situations that don't make any freaking sense. Uh, it's just... I think I laughed about three times in the entire film. And even then, immediately, and when I say laugh, I mean I chuckled a little bit. But even then, immediately after that, something would happen that would just annoy the piss out of me. So it lost any goodwill it might have gotten by making me laugh a little bit. Ugh. So, yeah, the, don't even bother with this piece of shit. Still not the worst film I've seen this year. I've seen two that are worse. You, you try to guess them below. In fact, some of you probably already know what they are, so w whatever. And even then, I've, even, I've heard bad things about, I think it's called The Loft, but uh, no, I couldn't even find that in the theaters around here, so no, I'm not. I have not seen that one, but apparently that's pretty bad. But there's still two movies that were worse than this one. And no, it's not Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. That was one of the other movies I might have gone to see. But anyway. Okay, spoilers. Starting now, if you, for some stupid reason, want to go see this piece of shit, you've been warned. Okay, Reese Witherspoon is cop with a really annoying accent, Sofia Vergara, I don't even find her all that attractive, so I don't know why she keeps getting roles in movies, yeah, she was a model, so eh, she'll bring in the people who want to stare at her boobs, I guess, or her ass, really, that's probably the only reason she keeps getting roles, because she can't act, she really can't, um, alright, let's see, so, yeah, Reese with she's Reese Witherspoon, she's the annoying cop who's completely by the book, but she's a bumbler too, so, you know, it's that kind of cop movie. Ugh. We're, our introduction to her, you know, her as opposed to, there's a bit of a montage with her and her younger self in, her, in the backseat of her father's police car. Actually, that was part of the part of the movie that I thought, you know, maybe this won't be as bad as if people have been saying, because, you know, it's kind of cute anyway. But uh, then it goes downhill really fast after that. Because our first real introduction to Reese Witherspoon is her date running away from her, having forgotten his wallet as he tries to leave the date because she's a bit of a tight ass. And she's, it looks like he, she's chasing a suspect, but no, she's, he's just her date, who she met on Christian Mingle. I don't, is that even supposed to be funny? I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, so she's, for some stupid reason, selected to accompany a drug lord, or an informant, for a drug lord to trial and she's required because the Texas code says that they need a female cop to accompany because they're bringing the informant's wife along too and they need a female cop for that. Okay, why not just get a Texas Ranger? The guy she's pairing up with is a Texas Ranger. There are female Texas Rangers! 
Uh, so, of course, oh, look, there's a shootout in there with some guys wearing Mexican masks and then some other guys come in. And uh, turns out that, oh, wait, they find out a little bit later, oh, those guys, those were the cops I work with. So immediately I'm thinking, all right, so because, yeah, it was only the three people who knew what was going on. It was the police chief, the deputy who was going to be accompanying Reese Witherspoon, and, well, Reese Witherspoon. So I'm thinking, okay, so obviously the police chief is working for the cartel. And yeah, at the end of the movie, yeah, that's what fucking happens. They got this running joke where Reese Witherspoon's height as a, because they, uh, the cops who, turns out, were actually the ones who killed the informant, and the deputy uh, actually apprehend them, and then they find it out, and then they report Reese Witherspoon as being the one who shot her partner. They weren't really partners. They were just accompanying them, but whatever. And then in every, in every report, guess what? Reese Witherspoon gets shorter and shorter, and Sofia Vergara gets older and older. Yeah, haven't done that joke before. Uh, uh, bumbling, a guy shoots off his finger for some reason. Funny, because they think the dog ate it? What? Uh, uh, and then they steal that guy's truck. It turns out there's another guy who actually passed out in the back of the truck, and it's his truck. And he's some kind of felon. They get his monitor off. And it turns out he's a good guy because he was beating up his sister's, two sisters, boyfriends because they were both assholes. And, uh, so they take him to an Indian casino because cops can't go on to Indian casinos. I don't know if that's actually a thing. Um, so, of course, you know, the Reese Witherspoon forced romantic interest with the felon guy because he actually likes the fact that she's forceful and upfront about everything and uh, whatever. Uh, wacky chase where they actually get on an old people's tour bus because they think it's some kind of rock thing and they're trying to, I don't. What and oh, it's like oh, this is supposed to be funny that they're endangering old people in a bus on a as they're being shot at. <sighs> Gary, you better appreciate that I'm fucking filming this, okay? Oh, I think I'm actually getting redder the more I think about this. Maybe my original score of two out of ten is actually too high. But no, I think it was about this angry at A Million Ways to Die in the West, too, so I'm going to leave it at that. And the, uh, at the end, we find out that, oh no, the, the other two people who were in there trying to shoot up the crime boss were actually working with Sofia Vergara's character because they want to smuggle him, her in, to kidnap her, to smuggle her in, to so she can kill the cartel leader, and then there's... Oh, gags, and Reese Witherspoon dresses up as a boy because Sophia Vergara said she had the boyish figure. Uh, and in the end, okay, yeah, the cartel leader is, of course, going to kill Sophia Vergara, so uh, Reese Witherspoon talks Sophia Vergara out of killing her after shenanigans. But crime boss had a gun hidden, and when Sofia Vergara lowers her gun, Crime boss tries to shoot her instead. Reese Witherspoon kills her, and then she goes. Sofia Vergara goes to jail for obstructing justice. Blah, whatever. It turns out, yeah, she's dating the guy. And end film. Okay, that's it. There's the summary of the damn film. I'm done. Maybe this is going to be a thing now. Someone wants me to go see a really crappy movie. Sure, I'll go see it. If I'm available, and you want me to go see it, eh, maybe I'll send you a link to the theater. You can buy me the ticket and then email it to me. Whatever. I don't know why I'd do that, but whatever. Maybe I'll... Maybe... Maybe. Maybe I'll do that sometime, but... 
Right now, I really just want to go see Age of Ultron again. Oh, and I'm also going to go see Ex Machina again. I already saw that. That's one of my favorite films of the year so far. Awesome. If you haven't gone to see Ex Machina, go see it. It's, I'll be honest, it's not a film everybody's going to like, but it's thoughtful, and it actually got better the more I thought about it after it was over. So, there. Okay. I'm done. Talk to you folks later.